Contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Okay guys, we ready for another all-in-one computer repair video? Well, if you're not ready for one, too bad because I've got one coming at you right now. This is a Dell Inspiron 24, model number 3455. This is an all-in-one computer that is experiencing hard drive issues. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to crack this baby open and replace the hard drive. Okay, all right, as you can see, I have flipped this over, laid it face down on some soft material so we don't scratch the front glass. And before we get started, I want to remind you, you can find me over at timscomputerfix.net. All right, so let's see, what we want to start here is there is a back panel. We'll just kind of flip up, pull up, and that's going to expose a couple screws here. So let's go ahead and remove those. Looks like we can just come right down this way and get them right through the right through the foot here. There's one. Here's the other, two screws, and this just slides right out like that. And if you look right here, this kind of tells you what we need to do. It looks like um, go along here and pry with a pry tool, yeah, like so. So I'm done. I'm done. Oh wow, look at that. Just broke a spudger, man. Alright, we just have to be very careful. Sometimes the spudgers you see I just broke one. Sometimes we have to try to use uh, different tools. We don't want to scratch the surface by no means, but that helps as you heard right there, it just popped. That does help in applying just a touch more pressure, provided that we don't scar the surface any. A little at a time is kind of tough. Okay, it's coming off that side. Let's work on this other side. There we go. Oh, and that exposes the hard drive, which is actually. 2.5 drive. Got a 2.5 inch hard drive here. Hard drive uh, can be upgraded to an SSD easily without any special uh, without any special brackets or caddies or anything which is good. So now obviously we can just take out our bad hard drive here. So we just take unloosen that screw and there is a small lever here that you want to depress. You may have to depress and slide this drive out like this and then you can simply remove the cable and then we just remove the hard drive from its caddy in preparation to mount the new hard drive. Three screws hold that into the caddy. Just remove the old hard drive, put in the new hard drive and replace the screws. And we'll put the locking screw back into place. Okay, from this point we'll just put our cover back on and we will um, 
fire it up and we will put in our new operating system.